former Fox News host and former friend of Donald Trump's Geraldo Rivera has announced he's done with Trump. He's done. And he is endorsing Kamala Harris. This has generated a lot of discussion. Uh, first and foremost, Geraldo posted to Twitter a declaration about this where he said with three weeks to go until Election Day, Trump stands a chance of becoming president despite assassination attempt, impeachment, et cetera, et cetera. He says that the polls show that it's too close to call. He goes on to talk about how he had a front row seat to Trump's 2016 election because he was on the final season of The Apprentice and so on and so forth. And Geraldo points out that he became victorious over Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, that uh, Trump and Geraldo were friends, that Trump's presidency was underrated and so on and so forth. But eventually Geraldo says that his suspicions, suspicions got the best of him, hasn't spoken to Trump since 2020 when he spoke to Trump shortly after Trump lost and that Geraldo asked Trump what would he do if the vote count remained against him and that Trump said he was a reasonable man and would do the right thing, but never ultimately did. And Geraldo goes on to tell the story of how with a motley supporting cast of fringe characters, Trump went from conspiracy theory to conspiracy theory without proof, saying he was robbed by Democrats. And we know the rest of the story. We know the rest of the story and Trump's refusal to just allow what is constitutionally determined to take place. In short, in short, Geraldo says Trump is a sore loser who cannot be trusted to honor the Constitution. And that's why Geraldo is voting for Kamala Harris to be the 47th president of the United States. Geraldo has done a little bit of a media round of interviews. He appeared on what is this show? News Nation with I believe this is Leland Vittert. And in his trademark angle yourself at imagine if I did that on the show, if I angled myself at 45 degrees to the camera in his trademark angling himself off center to the camera, Geraldo explains why he made this decision. I suggest to you that I personally will not be voting for Donald Trump because of three reasons. I think his uh, his creation of or his destruction of Roe v. Wade and the protections for abortion, uh, the immigration reform bill that he did not embrace. Rather, he has chosen to become a, an absolute uh, racist when it comes to speaking of particularly Latin undocumented immigrants, comparing them basically to animals. Uh, it's it's horrifying. I, I don't know how any Latino person of any self-esteem, any self-respect would uh, would be in favor you, of you uh, may not know uh, about the, it Geraldo, the ranting, but more Latinos the, are, hold the on, poisoning hold on, the blood on, of on. the country more, and the Democrats more? I am not voting for Donald Trump because I do not believe that he can be trusted to honor the Constitution of the United States I am not voting for Donald Trump principally aside from abortion and immigration uh, rights uh, I am not voting for Donald Trump because he proved that he put the himself and his own personal future ahead of the future of the country and the Constitution of the United States. That was the words from okay. his own Vice President Mike Pence. And I, it, it, what he, I, I, I what he did on January 6th. I love Geraldo not letting Leland get a word in edgewise. And so forth. Deserved Geraldo, impeachment and rejects. I, hear you. I, I pledge then. <laughs> This this is really great. I, I'm not like the biggest fan of Geraldo's, but I, I really like this. And one of the things that I think is delightful about this is it's widely triggering to Trump. You can't just write off Geraldo as some left wing nut because he supported Trump. He said that Trump's first couple years as president were, were good or even successful, depending on how you measure that. You can't just write off Geraldo in this way, and it is sending all of these people for a loop. And this is not now some random Republican, you know, that uh, says, oh, I used to I used to support Trump and now I don't. This is a guy who loudly and publicly supported Trump would go on TV and say this guy's doing a great job in those early days. And now he says, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it now. I want to submit to you one other thing. Geraldo is 81 years old. And when we look at Trump, who is the oldest major party presidential nominee in American history. 
and you hear Trump talking at rallies. Saudi Arabia and Russia will be uh. incoherent, completely incoherent, particularly when contrasted with Geraldo at 81, who is articulate, concise, direct, on message, erudite. And it's really just a reminder that something is very wrong, very, very wrong with failed former president Donald Trump. So good for Geraldo. I don't think Geraldo's endorsement is the, the difference maker in this election, but I like to see how concisely he's laying out the case. And if a few thousand Republicans in Georgia hear it and go, hey, you know what? Geraldo's making a good point. I'm not voting for Trump either. We'll take anything we can get at this point to keep this dangerous farce out of the Oval Office. Donald Trump has made it clear in a truth social post that if he gets elected, he will prosecute people in response to imaginary voter fraud using the Justice Department as his personal tool for revenge. And it's crazy how conservative news outlets are framing this story like this headline from Ben Shapiro's Daily Wire, which says Governor Burgum defends Trump against leftist outrage over his demand for fair elections. Meanwhile, when independent media outlet Mother Jones is reporting on the same story, their headline is the Trump plan to prosecute election officials and suppress the vote. So you get a totally different idea of the story depending on who's reporting it. Our sponsor, Ground News, makes it really easy to see these differences. For every news story, Ground News shows me a breakdown of how each outlet is framing the story, who owns the outlet, what their political bias is, so you can make up your own mind. I can also follow Ground News's dedicated 2024 presidential election page for each candidate, which is an amazing tool right now just to sort out fact from fiction on the race. And my viewers get 40% off the same unlimited access vantage plan that I use. When you go to ground.news slash Pacman, the link is in the description.